my God. Oh, Baptize us again in your Holy Ghost on today, God. Bind you. I bind every scheme, every scam, every trap that you would have set against this broadcast and that you would have set against the words that are leaving my mouth even now. I thank you for those who are under the sound of my voice and they will hear it in Jesus Christ's matchless name, God. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you, I thank you Lord. Oh, I worship the Lord today. Yeah. I give him praise. I give him glory. I give him honor. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be praised, oh God. There's nobody like him. God, I thank you, Father. You're God all by yourself and you don't need no help. God, I thank you. I thank you for that today. We stand firm in our praise. We stand firm in our believing today, God. We stand firm, Father. We thank you. And we bless you. And we honor you. And we give you the praise, the glory, and all the honor. I'm excited about God. I'm so excited about my living Savior and his living word. Oh, you better come on into the moment with me, my God. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father. I thank you for that on today, that you are the true and the living God. I thank you for that, Father. What a privilege and what an honor to serve you, Father. Yes, yes. What a privilege and what an honor mm. to look to you, Father. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you. We give you the praise, the glory, and all of the honor. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord if you can. Amen. I'm excited glory. for today. Yeah. I'm excited. Hallelujah. Pastor Gwen, I'm excited. Hallelujah. Pastor Daisy, I'm excited. Hallelujah. Pastor Christine, yes. I'm excited. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'm excited. church was given birth but the church also received the Holy Ghost yes come on, come on come on come yes. on and 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 so he said where are you now based on the cost that I paid for Pentecost mm. Mm. the Holy Ghost has not changed no. no come on come on we gotta step into place relative to where God is moving right now yeah He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever, and the Holy Ghost is the same. Yeah. Tell me, Holy Ghost. Yeah. The Lord is saying on this supernatural Pentecost Sunday, in all that it cost me before the cross, you are now able to celebrate Pentecost. My Hallelujah. God. Don't take this celebration lightly, says the Lord. It is my preordained sovereign feast scheduled celebrated season within time my god uh, that commemorates the establishment of my father's promised holy spirit oh mm. god is talking to us today mm -hmm. and i need you to stay with the conversation because he's going to upgrade us with revelation in the midst of the conversation my god there's some things that he wants to say right now to those who are under the sound of my voice that i didn't even get on yesterday my god hallelujah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but he wants to say something now as the apostles and the others sat in expectation in the upper room, waiting on another measure of my power to be demonstrated by the manifestation of my Holy Spirit descending upon them like tongues of fire, they were not disappointed. They were not disappointed. 
the Holy Scriptures testify in Acts chapter 2, verses 1 to 4. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be like tongues of fire that separated and came to rest upon each of them. My God, all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in tongues, in other tongues, as the Spirit enabled them. My God, my God. I want you to go to the scene with me. He says, now please note, they were all together in one place at the same time, praying in a unified level of expectation and waiting on the promised Holy Spirit. Then the breath or the wind, which is a symbol of the Spirit of God, came from heaven and made an unannounced entrance. My God, an unannounced entrance. My God, in a powerful way, demonstrating his own presence by an audible wind. My God, tell me God can't show up and show out. Yes, he can. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. He doesn't need you to make his presence known. He just needs to use you as a vessel so he can move through you to make his presence known to others. Help me, Holy Ghost. The Holy Scriptures testify also, and it continues to testify that they saw what seemed to be like tongues of fire that separated over their heads. And the Lord is saying, when his Holy Spirit entered the room, he represented my God, a consuming fire of who he is. Mm. He personalized his own self by presenting himself to them by what looked like tongues of fire when it rested on them. My God. Mm -hmm. You're talking about a personalized introduction. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. The Lord is saying there is no room for prior notice when he suddenly moves for you. My God. Therefore, it's imperative that we make room in our hearts for him to make a sudden move for you. My Hallelujah. God, yes. oh God, make yes. room make in your room, hearts. God needs to make a sudden you, move for you. Yes. You gotta make room in your hearts for that yes. sudden move. He says, prepare for supernatural sudden moves in this hour, oh says God. the Lord. Amen. And you yeah. will be an eyewitness uh, to the after effects uh, of Jesus. what I'm going to do for you. My oh, God. Jesus. Oh. You know, we like to say at this house uh, wow. that we serve a supernatural God. We're a supernatural people and we get supernatural results. Well, he's telling us, prepare for supernatural sudden moves in this hour. You will be an eyewitness to the after effects of what I'm going to do for you. My God, I tell you, I am so in that word right now. My level of expectation is so high. My God, I feel an intensified expectation that's resting in this house right now. Yeah, exactly. Amen. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, I can tell you by the spirit of the living God, since God does not work by time, what you need him to do for you can show up for you while you're sitting in my presence. My God, help me, Holy Ghost. That's how God is moving. And the Lord is saying, based on the sign of the times, you must wait on me in the upper room of your heart with the fire of of your love for me mm. is burning in your hearts. Ooh, my God, Jesus. my heart is burning. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about you, but yeah. my heart is yeah. burning. Yeah. My God, uh, he says, as you continue to yield to my Holy Spirit, uh, everything that's messed up inside of you mm. will be burnt up in front of you. My yeah. God, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. my God, Thank help you. me, Holy Ghost. Yes, if you hang out in the presence of the Lord, uh, yes, if you yes. allow the Holy Spirit to lead you, he'll burn up in you what you can no longer use for him. Ooh. My God, I thank him for that. Yeah. I thank him for that, my God. Only the Lord can take the taste out of our mouths uh, right. based on what we need to be delivered from. That's Did you right. hear that? That's right. yes. I, yes. So. Yes. I don't care if you go to the psychiatrist. Uh -huh. I don't care if you're taking medication right now. Uh -huh. It's not greater than the name of Jesus Come and on. it's not greater than what God can do for you right. when you want to be delivered. God, yes. I thank That's you. Right. I thank you, Lord. Up. God, I yeah. thank you. Yeah. Holy Ghost, I thank you. I'm not going to minimize the word of God in 
trying times. I'm not going to minimize what the word of God can do by his Holy Spirit. My God, based on what I'm going through. My God, I choose Jesus first. My God. Hallelujah. Why? He's talking to us. What Calvary cost me to deliver your Pentecost mm. is now revealing a fresh wind and fire that speaks beyond the cross. My, my God, Jesus. now is the hour to go forth in my mighty power. Yes. The harvest is ripe yes. and none will be lost. My, oh, God. Jesus. my God, my God, my God. My God. The Lord is saying, uh, based on the course that I paid for you to have Pentecost, uh, consider me to be your personal consuming fire. Ooh, burn it up, God. Burn yeah, it up, Jesus. It. For oh, I am a Lord. consuming Ooh, fire, consuming. according to Hebrews 12 and 29 NIV. He said, I manifested my presence as the fire throughout the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. In Exodus chapter 3 and verse 2, I appeared to Moses as a flame in the burning bush that did not burn. Yeah. I led the children of Israel by a pillow of fire by night. I went ahead of them in Exodus chapter 13, mm -hmm. 21 and 22. The power of Pentecost documented in Acts chapter 2 and 3, I was not ahead of them, I rested on them. Oh, my yeah, God, Jesus. I am the brightness of my Father's yes. glory, says the Lord, that looks like fire. Oh, my God. God, help me, Holy Jesus. Ghost. I love the Lord. I'm yeah. telling you, I'm in love mm. with God. Yeah. Mm. And I'm finding... <laughs> As I love him more and more and more, not only am I freer in him, yes. but the fire that's on him is on me. My oh, God, yeah. help me, Holy Ghost. Oh, the Lord. Yes. He says, I'm calling you, my God. I am calling for your hearts to be my upper room, my where God. my love burns for you and your love burns for me. Yes. My God, waiting in my presence is crucial, says the Lord. Yes. According to the Jewish calendar this year 5781 Pentecost is a preordained sovereign celebrated season within time that commemorates the establishment of my father's promised Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and I am unlocking multiplication revelation during this Pentecost season Come says on. the Lord and you are being empowered for the greatest harvest and the greatest <laughs> blessing ever my, my God, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Preparation. I don't know about you, but I feel the preparation. I feel all the things that I've been going through. He's preparing me for right now because we're about to have a breakthrough. Oh, I feel the preparation. I tell you, I feel the preparation. I can feel it, Minister Daisy. I can feel the preparation. I can feel it. Something is about to happen. It's going to happen. wind of my spirit uh, my that is carrying God. a new sound uh, and mm -hmm. you need my God you will need a fresh fire Jesus. of my Holy Spirit yes. to deliver my end time message my, my God. God he says when you speak on my behalf uh, mm -hmm. those things that are revealed to you by my spirit is a fraction of the revelation what? that's now being what? released for my end time move my, my God, God my Jesus. God he says every time my Holy Spirit leads you Mm -hmm. You can call it a fresh wind. My Every time my Holy Spirit is leading you, yeah. you better call it a fresh, a fresh wind. wind. My, my God. God. He says, I'm blowing in, I'm blowing oh minds, and yeah. I'm uprooting at the same time. Oh, Jesus. Today, many are waiting and wishing for a visitation from me, says the Lord, but they're not walking with me. This is not the hour to expect me to show up in, as your personal guest says the Lord, and you're not present when I show up. My, oh, God, my God, my God, I hear the Holy Ghost. Don't invite me in and you don't want to be my friend. Oh, my. Oh, oh, God, help me, Holy oh, Ghost. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. He says, do not expect a sudden move from me if you're not in 
positioned to receive a move from me. Oh my God. Oh God, he's talking. He's talking. He's talking. He's, he's talking. He's talking to us. He, he, he's telling us some things. He's telling us the benefits of obedience. And he's telling us what can happen if we're not in position to receive from him. My God, he's reestablishing us in an end time season, in this Pentecost season. My God, for the greatest harvest and the greatest blessing that you could ever believe for. I believe that with my whole heart. I feel the preparation. I'm telling you, I feel like something is breaking through for me right now. He says, if you get out of your own way that's blocking my way, says the Lord, I can reveal the new sound of revelation released by the wind of my spirit in the authenticity of my spirit that, that reveal eternal conversations beyond the cross. Oh my God. You know, only the Holy Ghost can talk to us like this. You know, only the Holy Ghost can have these kind of conversations with us because he's talking to us about conversations beyond the cross, my God, that we have not even heard of. But right now, it's necessary for him to have these conversations with us based on the time that we're living in uh, that's going to empower us even now to move with his kingdom agenda. I want to hear what God has to say. Oh my God, I want to hear what God has to say. He says, because I train you to wait on me, says the Lord. Uh, I will increase the momentum of my presence upon you. The longer you can wait without being the oh my God. The longer you can wait Without biting demonic bait, you will be empowered from on high by the most high to move strategically by my spirit and go after a harvest that's right, my God, wow. and to bask in the blessings I prepared for you. Ooh. What is he saying? Jeez. He's saying something to us. Yeah. He's saying something to us. He's saying if you don't get caught in between a demonic thought, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you don't get stuck there, yeah. if you don't bite the bait, Same. when the enemy is whispering sweet nothings in your mind, oh, he says, God. I can move you forward just in time. Help, Help me, Jesus. Holy Ghost. Thank Help you. me, Thank Holy you. Ghost. Why is he talking to us? He says, uh, let me train you by the leading of my Holy Spirit on how to speak beyond the cross, my God, in the earth so that you can cross over the schemes of the enemy because you no longer speak superficial crisscross conversations. Oh, oh God, help us. Help us. Come on. There's a deliverance taking place right now. Yeah. He said, let me train you yeah. by the leading of my Holy Spirit on how to speak beyond the cross. Wow. On this supernatural Pentecost Sunday. Mm -hmm. Crossover. So when you come to paths where demons rest in the earth, you can cross over their schemes mm -hmm. because you no longer have superficial crisscross conversations because you can hear directly from God. Oh my God I and you're not stuck in between a demonic thought. Help me, Holy Ghost. Why is he saying this? He's saying this to us for a reason. Come on, come on. Why? When the devil cannot tempt you in between your thoughts, you have taken captive what I've already caught. My God, my God. He's taken captivity captive. And every thought that you can take beyond the cross, every thought that he died for, everything that you suffer mentally, every thought, my God. He says, he says, when the devil cannot tempt you in between your thoughts, you have taken captive what I've already caught, my God. Come on now. Come on, you better take that in. Because the Holy Ghost is with us. The Holy Ghost is leading us. And God has given us his strategy for an end time relative to even the way we think. My yeah, God, that's right. help me, Holy Ghost. Come on, help me. I heard the Holy Ghost. Come on, come he on. says, if you don't leave me out of the equation, uh -huh. I can settle your situation. Ooh, my God, God, help me, Holy Ghost. Solid, solid. He says, we 
demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ according to 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 5 he's saying the end of the devil's demise has already been written in my book of Revelation my God my God he says the joy of rejoicing in the days ahead is only secured in the strength of the Lord. My yes, God. Yes. Why? Because the joy of the, the Lord, Lord is our strength. strength. Yes. According to Nehemiah 8 and 10. Hallelujah. I want to tell you something. God is talking to us Lord today. Help. He's bringing us yes, he into a momentum with him yes. relative to the sign of the times yes. so that we can survive the days ahead. Yes. Yes. And you will not survive the days ahead if you're not walking in what Jesus has already said, you won't survive it. You won't survive in your best friend's opinion. You won't survive in, 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 in frivolous conversations, my God, that talk about your downfall and, and I'm depressed and I can't take it no more. When you start speaking the word of the Lord, when you start speaking the word of the Lord, you're going to see a change. What are you going to do on Pentecost? The Holy Spirit is already upon you. Yeah. And yeah. you're not even working with what you got. Help oh me, my Holy God. Ghost. My God. The Lord is saying, God. my Holy Spirit resting upon you for such a time as this comes with a fresh fire, a new anointing that is designed to carry you through troubled times. Help my me, Holy God. Ghost. Thank you. My holy word spoken, Jesus. my God, from your mouth by my spirit can set ablaze any atmosphere Ooh. that I assign you to. Oh, my God. Oh, I want to say it again. I want to say it again. Oh, my God. God, I love you. God, I love you. He's saying, he's saying, listen now. My Holy Spirit resting upon you for such a time as this comes with a fresh fire, a new anointing, and that is designed to carry you through troubled times. My holy word spoken from your mouth, my holy word spoken from your mouth, my God, by my spirit, says the Lord, can set ablaze any atmosphere that I assign you to. My God, my God, I want to tell you, I want to tell you, I want to tell you, when you acknowledge the presence of the Lord, yes. as you allow his Holy Spirit to lead you, my God, I don't even care if it's around your own house. Mm -hmm. If you speak the word of the Lord yes. with this new anointing, this fresh wind, oh, my God, this sudden move that we're in right now relative to the sign of the times, if you speak the word of the Lord, my God, even in your own house, God will back you up. He will back you, yes, oh, he yeah. will back you up and things will change. Yeah. Yeah. Things will change. Yeah. You need today to look for a supernatural on, change, yes. my yes. God. Yes. You need it. Yes. You need it. Yes. You need it. What is yes. he saying? He says, I'm I'm calling you today a torch carrier. Ooh. Because Ooh. they are no longer reacting from being scorched mm. by demonic lies. My Ooh. God, my Jesus. God. I'm a torch carrier. Yes. I'm a torch carrier. Hey. And you can only carry the torch of the gospel when the lies of the enemy no longer scorch you. Yes. My yes. God, God, my now. God, Come then on. you can be a torch carrier. Yes. My God, I thank you for that. Yes. He says, do not be moved by the devil who is the accuser of the brethren day and night, day and night before God, according to Revelation 12 and 10. I tell you this day, says the Lord, is only within time that demonic accusations can exist. It's only within time that demonic accusations can exist. You better hold on to that. Because the devil can't accuse you no more when you're standing in the presence of the Lord. Oh, oh my God. And he knows his time is short. He knows his time is short. Help me, Holy Ghost. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He says, don't take your time for granted. That's right. You only have access to repentance and forgiveness within time. Now, this is. 
Pentecost. This is Pentecost Sunday. And I hear the Holy Ghost saying, what's that? What's that? repent at any cost. Yeah. 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 Repent yeah. at any cost. Yeah. My God, my God, my God, my God. Repent yeah. right now. Yeah. While my grace is available to you. Yeah. The devil who accuses you before my throne, says the Lord, doesn't know the power of my throne of grace mm. Ooh, Jesus. and that my grace is sufficient for you yeah. according to 2 Corinthians 12 mm -hmm. and 29. Mm -hmm. I love God today. Ooh, I love me some Jesus. Ah, oh, he is the way maker. Yeah. Oh, he is, he is our everything. Yes, he is. Why is he talking to us like this? Because you've got to see Pentecost yeah. from a different perspective today. Yeah. Oh yeah, we, we know what Acts talk about. Oh. We know what the book of Acts talk about. About. But are you willing to allow his Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you? Yes. yes. Are, you, are you really doing that? Jesus. That's why he came. That's why he, they waited. They waited with expectation in the presence of God, waiting on the promised Holy Spirit. What are you doing? My God. He says, therefore, let the fire of my Holy Spirit burn up your old pathway. Oh my God. Amen. Let the fire of my Holy Spirit burn up your old pathway as he leads you into the true light, says the Lord, of who I am. Ah. Obedience to my holy word is always your next step. And it's only through Christ that you can. Oh my God. He's talking to us. Jesus. He's talking to us. Yes. He's talking to us, church. Yes, he is. Therefore, let the fire of my Holy Spirit burn up your old pathways yes. as he leads you into the true light, says the Lord of who I am. Uh -huh. Obedience to my holy word is always your next step. And it's only through Christ that you can. Do you believe that? Yeah. Do you believe that? No. Yeah. Do you believe that, church? Yeah. Do you believe that? Yeah. My God. He says, now listen to this. Because this is a challenge, and it's challenged me. Come on, preach it, but I done came up higher already. Ooh. I came up higher before I came to church. Yeah. 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 He says, depending on the intentionality of your submission to the leading of my Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. I will burn up your old pathways, says the Lord, as I lead you into new pathways of righteousness for my name's sake, according to Psalm 23 and 3, uh. that I have already laid out for you, says the Spirit of the living God. Mm -hmm. Now he's saying, based on the intention of your submission. Mm -hmm. oh. Because sometimes we only submit to God when it's comfortable for us. Sometimes we only submit to God when, when we're believing him for something. And once we get it, we forget about the submission. So he's saying to us, based on the intentionality of your submission, meaning that I know the intention of your heart before you submit to me. My God. He says, I am no longer your part-time lover. I'm not your full-time lover in the upper room of your heart, says the Lord. My God, you will get left behind. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. He says, now don't wait too long. Don't wait too long to make your next move in Christ. Don't wait too long. You will not be able to escape through the available might. My God. He's saying obedience is so crucial right now that when I tell you to do something, the power is already there for you to carry it out. I don't need you to be waiting around and say, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Because when the time comes for tomorrow and you said you're going to do it tomorrow, the anointing to accomplish the task has gone. Has gone. Obedience right now is so crucial. I can't begin to tell you how how crucial it is to obey God right now. I'm telling you, it's a matter of life and death. My God, help me. He says, you must wait on me in the upper room of your heart with the fire of your love for me burning in your heart. So the upper room in your heart must be our unified space. The upper room in your heart must become our unified space, says the Lord. My God, my God. He's saying, I want to hang out in your heart. My God, while you love me through your heart. I want to hang 
hang out in your heart. I want to hang out in the upper room if your oh God. I want to hang out in the upper room of your heart, says the Spirit of the living God. My God, why? He said, it is my unified body where my blessings are commanded to be released. Go forth in my glory. It is where your authority and power is increased. My God, what is he saying? There was an unprecedented unity in the upper room yeah. as they waited on the arrival of my Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost. Uh, there was an unprecedented unity mm. in that room. He says, and when you wait on this level of supernatural expectation, not knowing exactly when, what you wow. expect to happen is going to happen. Wow. I'm preparing you by my spirit, says the Lord, for an instant upgrade of my mm. supernatural readiness. My yeah. God. He said, while you wait on me in the mm. upper room of your heart, I'm going to make you ready to receive what I got for you. My, oh my God. God. Help me, Holy Ghost. Ooh, hallelujah. Help me, Holy Ghost. I yeah. love the Lord. He says, I'm bypassing. He says, I'm bypassing those who cause division, mm -hmm. who are uncommitted in unstable times. Uh, they will be in trouble in the end times, says the Lord. Uh, I'm going after those uh, like the Apostle Paul who have been crucified with Christ right. and yet live, uh, according to Galatians 2 and 20. I'm going after those who are sanctified by truth, uh, for my word is truth, according yes. to John 17 and 17. He says, we are in a supernatural end time Pentecost season, and it's time for the commanded blessing, uh, full of multiplication and revelation, says the Lord. And in the days ahead, uh, those who wait in expectation without hesitation will come into full manifestation. Oh, come on now. Oh, God, help me. Oh, Jesus. I want to say that again, because your waiting on God is not in vain. Amen. Your waiting on God is never in vain. It's never in vain. Don't let the enemy make you think you're going insane when you're waiting on the Lord. You're not going insane. You just need to submit your heart to God and let your heart be the upper room. My God, you got to make room in the upper room for the presence of God in your heart. Oh, God, I love you today. I love you today. What is he telling us? I'm calling the righteous, my righteous remnant, to a level of unprecedented unity and agreement with me and in me as I lead them through this end time. My mm. God. I don't know about you, but I've got to be connected to Jesus. Yes. I don't want to be connected to yes. nobody, nobody but Jesus nobody in this end time. Amen. And if you're going to walk with me, I want to make sure you connected to. Help me, Holy Ghost. Come on. Come on. Two can't walk together unless they agree. That's right. You walk with me as I walk with Christ. We're going somewhere with God. Go. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yeah, I'm calling my righteous remnant to a level of unprecedented unity and agreement in me and with me as I lead them through this end time by my spirit. Why? The Holy Scriptures testify. Last scripture. Deuteronomy 28, oh. 7 to 9, oh King God. James Version. Go the Lord shall cause your enemies uh -huh. who rise up against you mm -hmm. to be defeated before you. Thank they you. will come out against you one That's way right. and will flee before you seven That's ways. Right. I just hope heard the Holy Ghost. Yes, you do. They're not trying to get out of your way. They trying to get out of God's way. Hey, and they don't know what direction to run in. <laughs> yes. My God, help That's me right. Holy Ghost. Speak the word. Verse 8. The Lord will command the blessing upon you. The Lord will command the blessing upon you in your bonds and in all that you put your hand to. And he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God gives you. My God, the Lord will establish you as his holy people to himself as he swore to you if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. I don't know about you. That, that seals it for me. That seals it for me right there. That seals it for me right there. I can't go wrong between those lines. I can't go wrong between
between those lines. <clears throat> and I've got to walk in between those lines to collect what is mine. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. Ooh, he says, I'm showing up suddenly, radically, and unannounced. I'm showing up suddenly, radically, and unannounced. Let your hearts be my upper room where my love burns for you and your love burns for me. And according to the Jewish calendar, the year 5781, in the season of Pentecost, there is revelation, multiplication, and manifestation, says the Lord. You are being empowered for the greatest harvest and the greatest blessing that you could ever imagine. My wind is blowing aggressively. My wind is blowing oh aggressively, God. says the Lord. I'm blowing in, I'm Thank blowing you. through, oh. and I'm blowing Thank some you. things away oh from you. Thank Help me, Holy oh Ghost. Oh my oh wind God. is blowing strong and aggressively. Thank it's moving you. rapidly. Yeah, yeah. Rapidly. Come We're on. in a rapid wind right now. Woo. We're in a rapid wind oh right God. now. And don't forget, He said to us, uh, when you follow the leading of his Holy Spirit, you're walking in a fresh wind. Yes, oh, my yes, God. Yes, the Lord is saying, yes, yes. based on the course of Pentecost oh, mm. that I paid for you, consider me to be your personal consuming fire. Mm, mm. I need you to hear the righteous sounds of my spirit mm -hmm. as I empower you to blow out false flames. Mm. My God. Oh, Jesus. I want to read that again and I'm close. Because the fire of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. is resting upon us right yeah, now. Amen. It's resting upon me Amen. right now. And he's telling us, he says, based on the course that I paid for you to have Pentecost. Yeah, yeah. What did he have to do for us to have Pentecost? He had to go to Calvary. Yeah. He had to go in the grave. Yeah. He had to be raised from the dead. Yeah. Come on, there was a cost yeah. that we can celebrate Pentecost. Pentecost. Yeah. And he sent his promise to Holy Spirit. Yeah. What are you doing with the promise to Holy Spirit? My God, do you know who he is? Oh God, help me, help me. Consider me to be your personal consuming fire, says the Lord. Lord, I need you to hear the righteous sound of my spirit. I need you to hear the righteous sound of my spirit as I empower you to blow out false flames. Pray with me. Stand with me. Thank you, Lord. Come on. Supernatural. Course of Pentecost. It's time to repent at all costs. Father, we come before your throne of grace. Yeah. We thank you for this new Pentecost yes, level of communication. Yes, Lord. I thank you for how you're situating us by your spirit in a now season to move aggressively as your wind is blowing rapidly. I thank you and praise you that you have positioned us uh, even now by your spirit uh, with this level of revelation yeah. uh, to receive the multiplication and the manifestation of the things that you've already promised us. Yeah. I God, yeah. God, I thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I thank you because of the promised Holy Spirit yeah. uh, that your promises come uh, because of the promised uh, Holy Spirit yeah. and by your spirit and we receive it in advance, God. Yeah. We yeah. thank you and praise you, Father, for that radical move, that unannounced presence that yeah, you have, my yeah, God, to yeah. show up on our behalf, yeah. oh God, no matter what we're doing, where we're at, and who yeah. we're with, my God, you're capable oh. of showing up, God, and moving on our behalf. I thank you that thank we surrender you. to another level, yeah. even on today, relative to obedience, Father, so yeah. that we can hear the righteous sounds of your spirit as yeah. you lead us by your Holy Spirit, God, yeah. and that you will empower us in no matter what atmosphere that we exist in God. Uh, you empower us by your spirit, Father. Hallelujah. To blow out false flames. My yes, God. Lord. I thank you. Yes, we are no longer demonically intimidated. Yes, 
Yes. We will not walk in fear. Yes. We are going to walk Amen. in the power and the leading of your Holy Spirit yes, for this Lord. end time move. Yes. My yes. God, yes. Father, I thank you. Yes. I bless everyone that's under the sound yes. of my voice. Yes. God, I give you glory and praise. Yes. I thank you and praise you, Father, that they have received something yes. from you yes. on today, yes. oh God. Yes. I thank you and praise yes. you for that on today. This thank is not a you. usual yes. Pentecost, God. This is a strategic season, yes. Father, where you're positioning your, peach, your people, Father. Hallelujah. Where chaos can't stop our kairos. You're moving by your spirit on our behalf, on those who obey you. Those who are willing, my God, to make the upper room of their hearts, my God, a living room for you. My God, I thank you and praise you for that. Now, Father, I bind the spirit of retaliation that would try to come up against myself and those who are under the sound of my voice because of this word. I bind it in the name of Jesus and I loose it from its assignment. I speak deliverance. I speak peace. I speak healing. I decree it to be so, God, in the matchless name of Jesus. Now, God, I give you the praise. God, I give you all the glory. And God, I give you all the honor. In Jesus' matchless name, amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah.